from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Niche media company Epic Outdoor this month launched South Africa's largest ever solar-powered digital billboard site on the N1 highway. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The property housing the billboard was specifically designed to accept advertising. Epic Outdoor director Renee Headley expands on the billboard. The billboard itself is a P16 OMD chip uh, LED. What that means is every LED is 16 millimeters apart. Uh, the total square meters of the board is, is just shy of 400 square meters. Um, in terms of the uh, power consumption, each panel uses around 440 watts in terms of power. And looking at the, the crisis we face in the country from an energy point of view, the key point of this project, besides being the first uh, mega digital, was to make the first and what we believe now is the world's first large format mega digital solar powered billboard. Um, in terms of the solar plant that we've installed, it consists of 270 540 watt mono uh, Canadian solar panels. These are powering a set of 200 slash 180 uh, Freedom One battery packs and also has a 180 kVA inverter. In terms of power, what this means is it'll generate 1.2 megawatts of power per day. In terms of the consumption that we require, to run the billboard is around about 834 kilowatt hours per day. Um, average household might use that in a month potentially. So it's, it's, a, it's a massive system. Um, currently we doing our testing now still, we should be 95% off grid, but we're not done yet. The, the plan is to not be connected whatsoever. Headley also touches on the location benefits the property provides, as well as how it is suited for solar power. The property, fortunately, is, is a large one. And we were able to, in the design process, position the original uh, static building itself in such a way that it was optimally positioned to face the oncoming traffic, particularly the driver's uh, left on, on this side here. It has a fantastic driver's right and a third, third panel in the front and from a run-up and impact point of view it, it ticks all the boxes for our, our clients being the highest uh, traffic arterial in South Africa between New Road and uh, Allendale or Allendale and John Foster actually um, it gives exceptional uh, opportunities to see. Again back to the the property size is, is fortunately in the back of the property we had a large enough portion of property available to house the solar farm which which is massive we needed a lot of space and we also needed enough space to be able to orientate the panels such that they could face north at the correct angle um, and have enough space to secure them and fortunately for us we we had that which which made the the idea feasible Headley expands on the target audience for the billboard it's purely for vehicle traffic. The, the stats that we have on the N1 is that there are 330,000 vehicles that pass here daily. In terms of a out of home uh, metric that is, that is used, we work on a opportunities to see, which is a multiple of the number of vehicles that pass. And the impacts that we uh, can achieve here on this site is just over 22 million per month. We followed the full application process in terms of council procedures and, and complied with, with everything. And uh, on the billboard itself, you will see that the, the imagery is, is acceptable and not distracting. And uh, I hope over time, maybe in the future, that might, that might change. Uh, if we look at global, global examples and those that we strive to achieve uh, over time, uh, looking at the first world countries and, and sites like Piccadilly or uh, Times Square which are highly pedestrianized as well as have exceptionally high vehicle traffic and can cater to full uh, video. We're not there yet, but hopefully one day we will be. Headley also touches on potential clients and campaigns. We would be targeting all, all premium clients. I think 
the billboard itself is is a digital statement. Uh, it's a it's a masterpiece that that exemplifies prestige, and the brands that would uh, seek to be on this platform would, would be those kind of brands. Um, additionally, the billboard itself has been geared up for programmatic buying, which is the same way you buy internet internet based space. Our entire network is programmatically enabled and this board will be no different. So we're looking forward to doing business with uh, other countries globally, not knowing which brand specifically will be uh, placed onto the billboard, but it will be uh, an attraction to them to be able to deploy their creatives in this manner. Hadley outlined some benefits using solar power would engender. For the environment, there's, there's so many pluses. Um, I think just besides the draw on the grid, the, the elimination of, of a lot of cabling and expensive uh, other, other equipment, we draw on natural resources, we're becoming self-sufficient. The equipment itself is, um, uh, is high, high tech that uh, requires very little maintenance. In terms of a digital board, you do away with big PVC banners, which in themselves are great for advertising, but other than that, they are, are, are not great for uh, an environment. So we're moving into the future being very conscious of our contribution to the environment, and the solar-powered solar billboard is a step in the right direction. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.